Hi crafty friend and happy day. I am so, so excited because I have been using this stamp set so much. So let me just grab it. I actually put it in my pile already that, well not pile, but I have these little baskets that I keep on my desk that are permanent use. And this is one of those sets that's going in the permanent use basket because it is perfect for so many occasions that I know that I will be reaching for it often. So let's just take a quick close look at the stamp set. I'll put a little card base behind it so you can read all of the lovely sentiments. If you don't know, this is the stamp set for November. This is the stamp and coordinating die. Oops, this one is not, but this is my other permanent one. This is the the sentiments from the Serenade of Autumn and this one is really good too so it just goes to show you that we are in my permanent use area but let's just look at the stamps here so there's five bold sentiments is what I would call them and they're scripty and so cool and you can die cut all five of those out like this one so there is a die for all five of them and then there are these skinny sentiments like this one are in my thoughts. So several times I did this one because I need sentiment, I need sympathy cards way more than I would like. But for several of them, I just chopped off the little U and I'm gonna use the big U. But there are several other ones like birthday and thank yous so and notes. I don't know there's just a lot congratulations you are adored I really like that one too because I don't have a stamp that says anything like very passionately about someone so I really did like that one I've used the stamp set now on several of my club cards so if you have been watching some of my club videos this month of November, you may have saw them already, but if you have not, I will pop some of those pictures on the screen here so you can take a look. Now, the stamp set is a simple but very effective sentiment set. Therefore, to make wonderful cards, I'm gonna tie in several other products and I'm also going to show you how I shopped my stash because I wanted to use some older products that I have had in my collection that are some of my go-to's and just encourage you to also shop your stash. But I had to, of course, pull in the embossing folder. But of course, I had to use the 3D embossing folder on one of these cards I'm actually going to use it on two of them looking at it here and then I tried a new technique well new to me new to me technique um, I have not done this before so what I did to get the silver on here was I used this glue pen now I don't think that this is for heat embossing but I used it for heat embossing it's called the quickie glue pinpoint roller so it's like a pen but there's glue in there. So I took this pen and just put it right on the centers of each of these flowers. And before it dried, I put some silver embossing powder on there and then heat embossed it. So it definitely did kind of bubble up. You can kind of see how there's like a texture to it, but I think it's kind of fun and different. And I thought, why not? Let's just try something out, you know? Anyway, my point is I love the 3D embossing folders, so if you are interested, I will have uh, the 3D embossing folder club linked below as well. I will be linking everything that I'm using here today, so hopefully you can find what you need if you're looking for a product or something, and if not, just let me know in the comments. I can help you out if I forgot to link it. I can try again <laughs> and those links if you use my links it does help my channel and me I do get a small little kickback from that so I appreciate it and thank you in advance to you if you use my link and if you have used my links in the past thank you for your past use 
All right, now this little flower here, you might be thinking, wow, that is just darling. And you'd be right, it is just darling. <laughs> it's from the small die of the month for this month. And again, I just wanted to use it in another way on a different card. And I love that it has the shadow die here that's going to just kind of give it that sparkle effect with that silver mirror cardstock. I love the mirror cardstocks. And I hope one day Spellbinders has the full rainbow of mirror cardstocks because I just adore their cardstock. They have currently silver, gold, red, and green. So who knows, one day they might add to that. And I would also love for them to have a whole collection of glitter paper, but maybe I'm just wishful thinking, who knows. Okay, well, I'm gonna pop my flower on right about here. Ooh, I'm just not sure now. How did I have it planned out in my head? <laughs> maybe something like that. Just kind of playful, but also kind of, I don't know, playful's not really the right word for sympathy cards, but because it's scripty, it kind of seems playful. Oh, I forgot. I should have added a little extra glue here, and I'm going to go back and add it. This embossing folder is a 3D, so it has a lot of texture and dimension, and the silver mirror cardstock is slippery, so I got to add a little extra glue. Okay, and I'm actually going to put, I'm going to put down my little stamp impression block right over top and let that sit for just a second. I did die cut out the center of this flower just to add a little extra color and it's matching my matted background. So that always makes my heart so happy. So let's just get that on all those little pieces. Anytime I'm doing die cut inlays for something small-ish like this, I'm going to use liquid glue like this and just put it down and then hopefully the little pieces stick. And I am now getting nervous that I don't have all the pieces, so that's really fun for <laughs> my brain at this moment. I guess we're gonna find out if I have all the pieces here. Sorry for the motorcycle. My neighbor is still riding his motorcycle in the winter. I don't understand why, but okay. <laughs> He's living his best life, I guess. Alrighty. <laughs> if you're not familiar, I'm from Minnesota, so it's, it's like 20 degrees right now, so that's why I find it funny that he's riding his motorcycle still because it is so, so cold to ride a motorcycle, but I don't know, to each their own. Now I'm feeling much calmer because I have four pieces here and four spots open. So now I just have to figure out what goes where and we'll be all fine. I do love this little picker. This is from Tierney, Trinity Stamps. I don't know why every time I want to say Tierney Stamps, I don't understand. I say the word Trinity like every day because I'm Catholic and <laughs> I pray, so I don't know why, but Trinity Stamps, thank you, and I have just been loving it, and I just watched Nancy's video, her follow-up from Card War, from Stamp Wars at 33 that I was on, and on her follow-up video, she mentioned that the nib is replaceable, this thing, that is so cool, because I'm sure that I'm going to wear it out, because <laughs> using it every single day since then and it's been about a week and a half so so far it looks really nice and there's no dents or cracks so I feel like it's going to hold up pretty nicely here okay now the you are in my thoughts sentiment is kind of like the the pop of brightness on this card since I used a black background so I did not mat the sentiment at all. And I'm just kind of relying on it to just kind of pop. 
because it's white. <laughs> and black and white contrast each other so nicely. Okay. You are in my thoughts. I think that is a nice sympathy sentiment. And I don't even need embellishments because I have my silver pieces that were heat embossed. So that's all set. Okay, card one, number, number one done. Let's go to number two. This one I was feeling kind of playful, so I went with a black and white background for this guy. So I did cut this black cardstock down to be just a little bit smaller than an A2 size. So I cut off an eighth of an inch. Nope, a fourth of an inch. <laughs> I can do math. It w is now four inches by five and a quarter. So the A2 size, which is the white paper here, is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then the sweet little green paper, so, so cute, is even smaller. So this would be three and three quarters of an inch by five inches even. What I did to get this fun background was again using the 3D embossing folder of the month and then I just took my green brush that I use for blending, this little guy, and if you ink blend you know that there's ink remaining on there even after you finish your product, a project, and I took it and I just simply just rubbed little circles over each flower. Nothing fancy, it really did not even take that much effort but I was just having a fun day planning out some cards and just trying different things with my embossing folder pieces and just kind of seeing what I could do. And it was been, it's been kind of fun to see and try different things. So I'm glad that I took the leap and tried, which is always fun. And it makes shopping your stash a little more fun because you can use things in different ways. I'm so sorry if you hear another loud truck. <laughs> I'm filming super early in the morning, so most people are heading off to work today. Today I have the day off of kindergarten, so I am filming this lovely video for you. <laughs> I don't even know if the mic is going to pick it up, but I hear it, so I figured I'd mention it. Okay, we have hello, have a sweet day, which is very endearing. I suppose you could even use this for a birthday card. So I guess this is the one and only card that is not a sympathy card in this video. I might title it something like sympathy cards made perfect. I don't know. We'll see what I end up titling the video, but I think that people are looking for sympathy ideas, and I think that we might go with that for the title. All right, this background is very, very bumpy. So my little flower doesn't have a lot of space to stick. So I need a bigger glue blob for it to land on. And yes, some might pop through the circle, but we're gonna just have to go with it and then we'll put a gem in the middle to cover it up. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get these flowers to stay. These flowers are from the small die of the month for this month. I have used them on several cards and I think that they're just very darling little flowers. So I think I'll be using these a few times and I think I'll be reaching for these a few times in the future and just kind of play around with some little pieces. I don't really want to go too overboard with the flowers. I know I did die cut a lot but I think the die itself cuts maybe 12 flowers at a time. It's whatever you would need to finish off the card that goes with the panel for the small die of the month. So I think it is a lot of them, but I don't need all of them today. I'm going to use these teeny tiny gems 
I don't reach for them often because they are so teeny tiny, but I think they're going to work nicely on this card. So I'm gonna use the green ones for the silver flowers and the silver ones for the green flowers. And I will add just a tiny bit more glue. And once the glue has dried, it will look lovely and the glue dries clear. If you're ever wondering, I use Barely Art Liquid Glue. I just prefer using this small bottle because it is very convenient to hold and it doesn't clog up too much because I keep it upside down on my desk here and I just keep it on, I just keep it in this best ever craft tape roll, which I don't know. There's probably a better way to do that, but I don't, I'm just not sure. I have heard from my crafty foily friends on the Foiling Snob Club that there is somebody who makes the the needles, I think they're called glue toppers, for the actual real bottle of Barely Art Liquid Glue and just makes the top kind of fancy, which I really would love to look into because I would love to have a fancy glue bottle top. Maybe I'd use my big one more, I don't know. But I just find with the little bottles when I flip them upside down and I just kind of keep them used, I guess, if you will, often, I find that there's less clogs. So that makes me happy because I don't have to stop crafting to unclog the glue bottle. All right, there's card number two, all finished. Okay, now the third one, I just cannot get over the Better Press Plate of the Month. That is on the background here. And yes, I foiled it. Can you just see the shine and the kind of elegance of it? I just really, really like it. I foiled a whole bunch of these and I better pressed a whole bunch of the backgrounds too. I just had a grand old time making backgrounds and just getting all sorts of fun out of my system, if you will. <laughs> so now I get to use it on some cards. So I have Sending, and then I have a little tiny Love, and that's from the stamp set, and then You Are In My Thoughts. So I thought that this would be a good kind of combo for sympathy cards. So we have Sending Love, You Are In My Thoughts. I think that the scripty love would have been a really fun kind of addition to this set, but... I think even without it, you can make so many different cards for different occasions, and it is all in one stamp set. All right, so we have Sending, and then my little one that says Love, and then You Are In My Thoughts. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, sympathy cards are the number one card, at least for me, that people ask for me to either make for them or they will purchase at where I have my cards being sold or at the craft wars that I go, craft wars, <laughs> craft sales that I go to. People go automatically to the sympathy area. Unfortunately, we have reasons for sympathy cards and I think it's just really nice for people to have sympathy cards on hand at home and it gives people a little bit of a peace of mind to have one on hand. So when something is calling for an occasion of a sympathy card, they have it on hand at home. So there's that. And I didn't even mention this beautiful little sprig here. This sprig is from the sealed collection from Spellbinders. And it is a old die, if you will. And it is one that I reach for often, especially for wax sealing cards. So this was one of the dies that I used when I shopped my stash. And then this other card here, my third card, is all finished. So here's my fourth card. My fourth card here, I pulled out this little bird die. I absolutely love it. 
and I think it looks so elegant in gold mirror cardstock. Ha ha, here it is again. And I used that better press plate to make a background. Look how pretty that is. The foil I used on this one was from Crafty Krita foil, and then I used Spellbinders background paper. I think this is mahogany, if I remember correctly, or it's like something wine. I am terrible at remembering paper colors, but I will have Spellbinders paper linked in the description for you. But I thought that this was a really fun and simple, but really elegant card. So You Are In My Thoughts is a great sympathy little sentiment. Okay, and then card number five. Um, hello, this is gorgeous. <laughs> you might recognize the background plate as a better press plate. This one came out with the Serenade of Autumn collection. It is stunning. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It's huge. The plate itself is like nine inches. I should remember the number because I just watched Melanie Smith, my very good crafty friend. She measured it with a ruler on her video, but now I don't remember the number. So anyway, shout out to my lovely friend, Melanie, but um, it's a huge plate and I just took a section of it and I foiled it. Now it was pretty nerve wracking to foil such a large plate on my Glimmer Hot Foil system. It did make a little sound going through my Platinum, but I think it's just because it's so big and the Glimmer Hot Foil isn't as big as the plate is. So if you try to recreate this card, just know that something kind of crazy might happen or you might hear a sound and I think it's fine. My machine is fine. Nothing looked damaged, so I don't know. Anyway, I do notice a few areas that are popping up, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue here and run it down the back of this card, just like so. And of course, it's smushed out because I'm on camera every other time when I do this and I'm not filming. You know, it doesn't smush out, but here you have it, the real real world of crafting, glue smushing and sticky inky fingers. Okay, anyway, I used the sentiment from this month's stamp set and finished off the card and let the glimmer foil do the work. I used the brass gold color foil from Spellbinders, this one, polished brass, and it was just gorgeous. Don't mind my little decrepit box. <laughs> Anyway, this is all of my cards here for today. So I hope you liked the video. I'd love to know which one is your favorite. I think that if I had to choose, I think I'd have a tie between these two. Just because I really, really have been loving this Better Press plate on the background. So there's that. Alrighty. We'll see you next time, crafty friend. Hopefully I receive my wax seal soon. That's the last club item that I don't have right now. Today when this video goes up, it is November 11th. So it is Veterans Day, so happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all of the veterans out there and thank you to military families. So just gotta say that because I just really appreciate all the sacrifice and work that you go through and do that. And then next weekend, I'm going to show you some really fun crafty Krita cards. So stick around and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. And before you head out today, make sure to hit the like button if you've liked the video. And once again, let me know your favorite card. We'll see you next time and happy crafting. Bye-bye.